the series of secrets of Avyak the Murlis. Today, let us all welcome respected Rajabhai from Madhuban with a very warm heart. Today's Murli dates back to January 18, 1971. First, brother will give us some insight for this worldly. And Baba has drawn our attention on certain points. Then we will do the question answers that you all have shared. Om Shanti Baisa. Om Shanti. Today is 18th January special. 18th January is Remembrance Day of Brahma Baba. Baba became Avyakt in 1969. First of all, I would like to share with you all that today is the day Brahma Baba's body was given the final rites. On January 18th, around 9 p.m., he left the body. All the children of Baba keep coming until January 21st by noon. ब्रह्मा बाबा आंखों के सामने से आंखों में तुम समाए थे आज ही के दिन ओ प्राण प्यारे बाबा प्राणों को करके अर्पण संपूर्णता को पाए थे आज ही के दिन ओ प्यारे ब्रह्मा बाबा समाए थे आज ही के दिन अठारह जनवरी अठारह जनवरी अठारह जनवरी आज ही के दिन After that, after we all showered and cleaned up. When we sat for hope for Baba, we had two messenger Dadi, a Santoshi Dadi, one Santoshi Dadi, and Gulzar Dadi. Bari Dadi asked Gulzar Dadi to get ready and go to Baba with Bhog. First time, 21st January 1969. Brahma Baba landed in Gulzar Dadi's body. And since then, the Avyakta role of Baba Dada started. In 1971, this Murli is just the second year so many children of Baba came with tears in their eyes. Baba received everyone's love in the subtle region. Baba received love and remembrance for all three types of children. The one who are divorced means disconnected, the one who are yogi, and the one who are loving. Baba loves tears of love as the tears of love turns into pearls and the one who has yoke with baba does not suffer hurt or shed tears divorced are the one who become very sad in someone's remembrance their yoke is broken 
when Baba comes in the evening, then Baba draws attention on the Baba draws attention to the, to what uh, happening, what's happening from morning to evening. Especially, Baba draws attention to words, towards the silence of mouth. In this, Baba has in this morally, Baba has explained deeply that the silent state is very important when you serve souls while in sound. But when you do service in the stage of being beyond the sound, you will be able to see greater results, greater instant results when you give other souls the experience of the uh, stage in one second. Through your dream, you are remaining in awe of stage. You will see that instead of the path in front of you. This Murli was spoken in 1971. And by listening to this Murli, I was greatly inspired to surrender into Yagya. I was there. I was there at another one in my summer vacation. And I just got surrendered right after that. Baba says it in this Murli that the course of revised stage is also coming to an end. So when children listen to such sentences from Baba, they get very much enthusiastic and feel power to do ultimate service in yoga. So in 1972, I surrendered and I will complete 50 years in the Yagya. The Murli ran in those times very, very deep. Baba says that when you come in the sound after being in a, uh, in from Avyak stage, you will give a deep experience to people. So based on those murlis, after that, it was a new beginning of Raja Yoga camps. There used to be seven days courses at Madhuban before, but there were no exclusive camp session just to experience yoga by commentary. The very first session at Madhuban happened in 1972 when Yoga Bhavan was built. I remember there were only eight VIPs were uh, there in first batch. They were principals of school and colleges. There, uh, were, they were given experiences with so much depth and attention that they themselves and their whole families were surrendered. Their daughters are still in Gyan, in Mumbai and Ahmedabad. They all came out from that very first camp. So Baba has run Murli on how to shoot arrow on the point of experience. When you come into sound after having been stable in the stage beyond sound, that sound will not seem like sound, but the earlier the vibrations in that sound will attract source towards Baba. Even by listening to that sound, they will experience your offering to that ultimate stage. In this corporeal world, they sing a lullaby to little children. That is sound but it is a sound which is a method to take them beyond the sound. In the same way, if you come into sound after being stable in the avyakta stage, you will be able to give the experience of stage beyond sound. One second's experience of the silent stage can enable a soul to forge on an eternal relationship. Such 
an unbreakable relationship will be forged that a soul with that type of experience will not even be shaken by maya. The souls that become impressed simply through sound may come and go because they have heard many sounds, but the souls who have experienced sound emerging through a silent stage will be freed from coming and going. Such a soul will not be influenced by anything. So Baba has emphasized that children should stay beyond the sound and then come into sound and give gyan. Baba is asking, what was the result of the pilgrimage of remembrance today? Where are you, the embodiment of love or the embodiment of power? Were you embodiment of love or the power? Were you... Uh, loving and yogi or the divorcee. Baba says, children, be yogi and loving, but never divorcee. This love enables you to claim the blessings of power. So today is the day of claiming the blessings of love. One is the attainment through effort. The other is the attainment through lessons. So today is not a day of attaining power through effort, but it is the day of claiming the blessings of power through love. Consider this day as a day for special blessings. Through love, you can attain any blessing from the bestower of blessings. Do you understand? Not through effort, but through love. It depends on each one how many blessings are claimed. However, everyone can come close through love and claim blessings to the extent that one understands the day of blessings to the extent one can receive them. It is the wonder of those who catch them. We have seen many dadis are cared by blessings, not by efforts. Once Dadi Prakashmani was asking Baba that you give blessings to many children, then please give me at least one blessing. Then Baba replied, but, but ji, whether I give you just one blessing or you are being brought up by just being under the hood of blessings, and blessings only with a big smile. So our dadis have come so far with the power of blessings, not power of efforts. Baba is giving to all. The one who can catch, they do wonder, but the one who doesn't re remains empty. So we all must catch Baba's touching and blessings and Sakaj by our intellect. The more we catch, the more we feel the power of blessings. Then Baba said that as per this revised course, you must have four aspects. Check whether you have all four. To what extent is the stage of being elevated in all aspects? Secondly, how close have you come to your complete stage and relationship with all others. Thirdly, to what extent is their contentment with self and in relationship with others? Fourth, to what extent has courage developed in the self? You have to check these four aspects in yourself. Whatever type of test paper comes, to my children, my brave and bold children should pass this test. So up to what extent in this Brahmin life we have adopted the elevated state? Up to what extent we have come close as family? How much bravery we have? These are subtle qualities. Baba is asking us to check. Consider this day as the day 
to transform your stage. This is a chance for yourself. Baba is asking to do the intense effort to remain in the form of soul consciousness. You form the soul. Be in the soul consciousness that should give others a vision of their form of the soul. This is called the experience of avyakta stage. By seeing you in a soul form, the others would see their own soul. So why are you doing this intense efforts? You children become transparent. Transform yourself into such a transparent stage that the soul that is present in your body is clearly visible to everyone and you see soul in everyone. This is this is short morally but filled with deep secrets of knowledge. In 71, Muralis were short compared to today's Muralis. But Baba has asked us to become complete, powerful, and competent and equal. The proof of love is we become like that. This is Remembrance Day. The more we stay deeper in, the more we experience. In 71, when this Murli uh, ran, Didi Man Mohini used to pay a, a lot of attention on it. In that time, Indra Prasth building at Madhuban near Shanti Tower was just completed. It was founded in Baba's time, but then it got completed after two years. In between the two rooms, there were there was a small hall. I remember there were complete silence but tea for a week in that hall. Sometime brother, then sisters. So they used to alternate. There, there is no class or study, no commentary, just by a few lines of songs. And we used to fly in remembrance of Baba in 1971 and 72. So that type of yoga tapasya was done based on Murli for the progress of the yagya, which resulted into a very well spread, uh, spread of services. In 71 only, first London center abroad was opened. 72 is the year services were widespread. Dadi Janki went to London in 74. Baba sent children to different places based on these Morleys. So all you Baba's children who are raising through Avyakta Palna are elevated yogi and elevated souls. Keep studying Baba's Morley. Now we have, we will do the question answers. Om Shanti Rajubhaiji. Today, I also did an experiment that how many points do I remember without seeking any notes? So when you were speaking, I was paying attention. I remembered most points because Murli was short, but I will continue my efforts to remember the first question Baba is asking to go beyond sound. 
we all have habit of listening to a commentary or a music so is it okay or not like what baba said today that the lullaby uh, mother sings to a child is a way to bring the child beyond the sound so the commentary or music we listen is that serving the same purpose can we use them it is like we shouldn't be dependent on anything the mother is singing a lullaby to a child is a different thing but that can take you away from the sound into a sleepy state but for remembrance of baba there should not be any need for any sound or music initially from the external world uh to go into inner world play nice meditation song that can take you in that can give you a nice supportive transition to meditative state but it shouldn't be like that that we were sitting in yoga for half an hour and the music is so loud and instead of going into the stage of silence our head becomes heavy so that is why don't be dependent on it but when the intellect is wavering so much here and there at that time we can take help of nice meditative music or song in a very low volume to go beyond the sound the way we do yoga here we have a special group we play a line of song at 20 minutes or so and then we even stop that and just silence nothing to see our true self we don't need help of any sound experience our home param dham experience our forms you don't need any sound to practice and experience this but for a change or to uh, keep the wandering thoughts uh, uh, restrained we can uh, use in the beginning thank you you last time say that when we transit from one meeting to the other and then there is a lot of noise and chaos we listen to nice songs and we keep ourselves focused the next question is you say that uh uh dadis were brought up by blessings not by efforts can you please elaborate that being raised by blessing means let us first understand what the vardhan is or blessing is the meaning of blessing in the devotion path people understand that blessings are like a magical words and it will happen just happen when it said so be it it's not like that here in gyan here to attain anything there are methods to achieve them methods means shrimat if we are walking according to shrimat then there are no efforts so dadis followed shrimat so well at every step that whatever baba said they replied yes baba yes baba that's how they kept receiving blessings if our efforts are according to shrimat then we don't need to ask whatever we attained from baba the knowledge the power etc when we give that to others like how baba says to do mansa or mental service if we keep doing it then our mentality will purify by itself while doing it there are no extra efforts to do so as we become pure powerful mentally 
what we think will happen because our thoughts are clean and pure. But when did this happen? It happened when we followed the Srimas of thinking. Same way when we share Gyan by speech and we can change someone's life, our words will come true. When our speech is pure, we will receive the blessings then. So we have to donate what we attain from Baba. Then our life gets filled with blessings. All dadis had a tendency to just give and give, either by speech, either by eyes, or maybe by their hands. They always kept giving, giving, and giving. So that's how we can say that dadis kept receiving blessings from all. There's one more question right now. There is a lockdown because of COVID. We cannot go to centers or do any kind of seva by visiting. So in this situation, if we do Mansa service, mental service, is that a good service? Because we cannot uh, do any service at uh, centers. Baba says that don't do seva by running here and there. Just do seva or service by staying at one, one place. Yesterday, what happened at Madhuban, there was a big uh, service uh, for the 75th anniversary of uh, in independence of India. The president of, president of India, a uh, government, uh, state government dignitaries and others joined online. It was a wonderful service and message of peace to millions of people. In normal circumstances, we have to take so much care for the security of such dignitaries. It's like Baba is having this task done by children with so much ease. This isn't time to think that there are no seva. There are a lot of seva we can do by our pure, peaceful intellect and give peace to Tamopradan nature and environment. Baba is asking us to do everything with, e with ease and joyful state of mind. So just be it. In lockdown, many, many became Baba's children. The numbers are multiplying astonishingly. Baba is working wonders right now. Whoever comes in your contact, just give them this knowledge. Just draw their attention to Baba. One of the uh, brother came from Germany. They said, we had only 40 people group and now we are 80. And he also brought along a uh, Baba's uh, child who were only two months old. Just keep doing the service with pure mental attitude. Over here, we have more than 100 souls in the Zoom meeting. More than 80% have joined uh, this course, uh, Gyan and the course over the Zoom. The teachers at Anubhuti have given the Gyan on Zoom. The uh, next question is, Baba is asking to be transparent and also the Avyakta stage. Are they both same? What type of effort should we do for that? What is day-to-day -day, uh, study can we do for that? Baba has asked us to be in soul consciousness for all efforts. The more you stay in soul consciousness, the soul becomes avyakta naturally. When soul stays detached from body consciousness, when 
we are in body consciousness we speak we walk the ego is visible baba is asking us to show soul to others when you talk to others see soul and give experience of soul to others not body while practicing such way you will become transparent transparent means dehi abhimani stage the more we are in this dehi abhimani stage the more we get close to double light angel or nirakari stage thank you how can we do service by remaining in avyakt stage how can we do how can we do activity being avyakt service while in avyakt stage means we get things done by our organs of actions by remaining as master of organs avyakt does not mean we go up above out of the body be in body and do actions and go back in soul consciousness i am the owner and the organs are doer i am detached from the actions away from the doership be in soul consciousness this is called the avyakta stage hmm baba has the doership and i am just a doer which means we remain detached from the results of actions yes baba knows whatever result will be just surrender and keep yourself light the next question baba used two words today completeness and closeness what is the meaning of these two words what is the connection between them sometimes when some children practice being complete they just get detached from everything in their life papa does not speak to do any such effort that takes you away from the family and the world you are living in baba is asking to be in family stay together stay loving and caring and then do service your efforts to become complete are secret efforts we have to become complete in all powers qualities but it does not mean that we get separated from one another stay close sometimes some souls make efforts in a way that they separate themselves from friends and family and just be aloof baba describes this kind of effort as sadness such souls does not have any interest they are in state of ascetism baba does not want us to go that way it is our secret effort that takes you in to soul consciousness while being in the field of action stay close in relationships very good this is a very good clarification it is always a big confusion how we can do this while staying in family baba is talking about satisfaction you mentioned that you should be satisfied for efforts too but what happens if what happens is that when baba says to do yoga for 8 hours or when there is yoga bhakti some souls do intense meditation wakes up at 2 am or sitting at one place for hours and some cannot do it because of their different routines job children etc then they don't feel satisfaction in their efforts that they are not able to do so much so how should we take it in reality we need to understand this topic in depth too satisfaction is not what other person is doing that i should also do many have limited bodily strength or has different role in doing service satisfaction is that when you follow on each godly guidance you are following each shrimat made by baba 
don't look at what humans other humans are doing but focus on what baba has said if someone is doing yoga at 2 am and my situation is that i have to go for work whole day and i cannot do that if i wake up and do yoga at 2 am then my body will not cope up with that if someone has no job they can do that and they can sit for hours so comparing with others is not a right uh, justifying about yourself on your secret pathway just walk on your secret pathway and be satisfied what this doesn't this doesn't mean that you your uh, your idol you follow your own instincts or you don't follow the rules made by baba just keep your state of being merged into one the one who do yoga at 2 am when they walk into their office and when someone contradicts them immediately they lose their temper so what is the point of doing it yoga at 2 am it doesn't make sense our goal is to make our state of being peaceful and calm so many times sakar baba has said that yoga is not a thing that you sit in a place for hours and do yoga if you have time you do it but yoga is you do well working it is karma yoga yoga in action just be in remembrance yoga is not to be done by stubbornness very beautiful i believe everyone will have a different angle to look at how to do yoga now just be happy play around and be in union with baba this you said that if stay away from idleness check your points check your own points and follow shrimat and i like how you said uh, just be happy healthy and move around the next question is it is written in the morley that if they take a few grains then they become population or subject when but when you have a relationship now you have then you will be in a relationship in future answer is it is like that in this time when the souls come in contact but some of them will adopt just a faint knowledge some will adopt the full knowledge and become heirs they receive full inheritance of kingship and attain blessings and some are those who just take up a very faint knowledge it's like small grain some are those who help in service but they don't adopt the full knowledge and then uh, they will become population or subject whoever establishes relation relationship with god they will be in relationship in golden age otherwise whoever just receive knowledge equal to few grains they listen and just praise oh wow this is such a good uh, thing this is so good but they don't inculcate knowledge in their intellect and but be helpers then they will become population but will not become heirs they will be helpers in golden age only those can be heirs who establish all relationships with baba who surrender everything to baba they will get the complete inheritance they will get the kingdom who comes in contact only they come and praise the gyan and go back to their business they will not get kingdom i think you answered the next question as well some have asked what are the qualities of a complete heir the qualities of an heir let me give you an example in the beginning when the services 
बिगेन इन गुजरात इंडिया अवर दीदी वॉज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन दिस सर्विस इन गुजरात इन इंडिया देर वॉज वन बाबा चाइल्ड हु केम आउट फ्रॉम दैट सर्विस एंड शी ब्रॉट हिम टू बाबा बाबा से दैट यू ब्रॉड ओनली वन हेयर फ्रॉम योर सर्विस ऑफ वन यूर एंड दीदी वॉज सरप्राइज दैट आई गेव टीचिंग टू सो मैनी एंड ओनली वन केम आउट ऑफ दैट क्वालिटीज that one hair quality soul as soon as he came to baba he started noticing that what things are required at yagya what things are missing at madhuban he considers madhuban as his own home and what services are required he just took over everything he noticed that needs to be taken care he looked after like it is his own home he sent whatever was missing or required in a secret way and took care of it this is called the inheritor quality child such children are righteous for everything others just come and go and just praise and don't do any service then they don't inherit by all means like how a child is the future owner whoever puts all efforts towards yagya they think that i must do what baba said then they become the inheritor and they give their mind body spirit money everything into yagya very beautiful thank you baba mentioned that baba received three types of remembrance you said the vyogi is the one who is this connected yogi or how how if they are disconnected how baba gets their remembrance vyogi means not who is remem in remembrance of someone else but it means that the one who were in pain they have complaints that they could not meet baba baba didn't play with them baba is not with them anymore and they are just sad and complains and whine about that their situation of not seeing baba anymore so baba says that those are viyogi means such souls are disconnected yog yukt souls are those who have love for baba but they are so knowledgeable hence they are not sad and that baba is uh, not sad that baba is not there anymore the eyes might get wet but they are still in so much love with baba baba says don't be sad baba has not gone anywhere be in love with baba be gyani knowledgeable and stay happy when i came in uh, gyan i was also thinking like that i could not meet baba or uh, why i couldn't see baba and i was but i'm not like that anymore the next question they are not related to morli the one is when brahma baba became avyakt how did avyakt baba dada role start what happened and how did everyone expect the avyakt part how were they convinced that sakar role is over and avyakt has started did they take time to understand this or they just accepted it was like when baba started coming then baba uh, repeated the words which baba said to those children when he was alive baba inspired the children with the same words baba spoke and nurtured them 
the direction Baba gave was the same how when he was alive to those children. Because of this, faith was grown. When Baba used to land in Gulzar Dadi's body, her body was like her soul is sleeping. There was no uh, action at all of her own. That's why Dadi was so, and the Dadi was so innocent. She was not aware of anything. She didn't live at Madhuban. She lived in the Delhi zone before. So she didn't know any of the children and what uh, Sakar Baba talked with them. But Avyakta Baba explained through Dadi what Sakar, alive Baba, used to say. So it was obvious and easy. Dadi used to change completely her expressions, gaze of eyes, attitude, Everything was very different when Baba used to land in her body. So it was not so hard to believe. So there were no questions that Baba is no more. Everyone had assure, assurance that this is Baba only and Baba never let children feel that he's no more. He only changed the room the form of body. Whenever children remember me, Baba will be there. And in reality, the scene was literally such that for any questions or tasks, Kuljar Dali was asked to sit in the middle and invoke Baba. Either she invoke or she goes up and gets a message. Baba really gave a lot of nurturing in those years, every third day or so, Baba used to come and guide on what to do. Dadi used to sit with so much innocence and Baba used to call her up or Baba came down. There was one incident. Uh, we had a new car. Uh, in the beggary part, we lost all the cars. And after that, we got this small Fiat car and all Dadi went to the sunset point at Mount Abu. Then uh, Janki Dadi uh, asked uh, Gulzar Dadi, like, Gul, uh, this is a new car. We will not sit in the car until Baba sits in this car. And <laughs> to the wonder, uh, they uh, asked uh, Gurjar Dali to sit in the car and invoke Baba. Baba came, Baba circled the car around and Baba uh, made a tilak on the car and blessed. So, and Baba sat in the car and they took a circling around. So, so Baba came and what uh, they did was, uh, just ask Dadi to uh, uh, go to Baba or bring Baba. And Baba was coming every second or third day in those days. It could be in Baba's room, in Didi's room, wherever Gulzar Dadi was set, Baba came. It is so amazing that Baba followed children's desires and showered so much love. That is why Baba is called the innocent one. There's one more question I received by text. Baba sometimes say that um, give Gyan, if he belongs to us, then the arrow will hit the target. Sometimes he says inheritor, not acquaintances, but create relatives. Please describe this. It is so that Baba asks us to give Gyan to all the souls. But you must have seen that some come and go and don't listen. Some feel it good, etc. is all uh, your imagination. Baba says, Gyan is for all of you. 
gyan is for every soul you have to just put the seed you put seed who are inheritor will start giving fruits right away others will say at least i got the message that god has arrived this knowledge is for the souls of all religions the knowledgeable souls who will establish their religion will take knowledge from here so it is important to give gyan to all gyan or knowledge is required to get elevated levels in their religion they play elevated roles in their religion if good one then bring them in relationship then they will be fortunate souls automatically but sometimes it happens so the uh, we do exhibitions and uh, do so much expense and no one comes in the yagya and the children become disappointed baba says don't be disappointed not everyone will be inheritor not everyone will come here whoever belongs to the deity religion only those will come here yes i feel like that when i teach to others i am the one who is listening first and my knowledge becomes sharper and that is beneficial to me it does not matter if anyone else walks in the gyan by my teachings or not yeah i am benefiting but the one who is listening are also benefiting they may not execute now but may at later time they will say oh yeah you did give me this knowledge that's true the next question the fourth one uh, baba asked to check the four qualities and the fourth quality is the courage courageousness courage for what the to become courageous is to win over the maya and demonic qualities you need courage and power if you don't have the power then those will overcome on you i so baba is saying that the one who is brave and maharathi is the one who is sitting on an elephant very powerful and the brave is the one who is riding on the lion to not get defeated by demonic qualities be the brave and maharathi maya the temptress is widespread around us so if you are not alert then you get defeated by it goddesses are seated on lion they are not afraid they are brave and not afraid of evil demonic powers in if in such times you are not brave and courageous then the maya will defeat you last question baba says that through your avyakta stage new souls will have visions this is a like a big responsibility so sometimes it is stressful whether we will be able to do this or not how can we fulfill this responsibility or how should we take how we should approach this in reality we should never make any efforts with a sense that there will be visions through me to other souls don't be in such a mentality baba says that the key of giving the visions revelations is with me only baba has not given to children you just continue your effort ongoing in baba's remembrance keep your soul consciousness up baba will use you whenever and wherever he wants he give your example to whoever he wants to we must be in full attention many times baba used to say many young age souls were wearing different outfits so baba said he never changed his dress 
because if he changed the dress then when shri baba gives his vision to anyone else then they will not identify him if he is not in the usual outfit in the corporeal body also baba was very much aware of his dressing if i am in a pant shirt then they will not be able to recognize me if baba is giving me uh, my visions to others in avyakta form also the more we remain in angelic dress then baba will give our visions to anyone he wants to i shouldn't take any tension about it no stress about it the more i stay in soul consciousness the more i be in avyakta state be detached from expressions talks and detached from surrounding the avyakta state will result automatically baba will use your state however he wants to i'm sure by listening to this whoever had this question is feeling easy and relaxed thank you so much you answered everyone's questions with so much love and i hope that everyone is feeling very satisfied from all of us i thank you very much and everyone is very satisfied thank you so much bye ji i feel like the question i am presenting to you must have come to you and you may have answered so many times but those who are connected with us here today also have the same question so now when dadi gulzar is not here in her body anymore so many souls who are new and since the scope of media is so large in these days there are so many youtube channels they go on various channels and watch all kind of things then certain questions comes on the surface that do you know that baba has come do you know that baba is coming at this place oh do you know are you aware baba is landing uh, in certain uh, person's body or place and such baba has mentioned about this more uh, in this inwardly with that can you please clarify that baba can land in anyone else's body or baba will come they get confused and some just get directed towards that and there is a chance of getting betrayed multiple times we have seen that maya is showing around its multiple forms this comes very often nowadays we need to be careful this is maya multifaceted faceted maya we hear baba come somewhere in bombay raipur etc that's why brahmin needs to think that the baba that baba worked so hard for this yakya if baba wanted to come and take a third chariot then wouldn't baba come here in his in this place in this yakya would not he take care of this yagya he will not come in a small uh, place a small young girl's body or a stranger's sister or brother's body some brahmins don't recognize this uh, multifaceted maya and be here baba came at sir this 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 places they get confused don't get confused please baba says i will not come anywhere else my role is only at madhuban it is my place if baba wanted to come then there are so many messenger souls here baba could have come easily here
we all must become uh, in such a form that from our uh, form, others would see Baba. So there are, there are uh, people who just cheat and uh, just they imper uh, impersonate Baba's voice and make their business out of it. They copy Baba's voice and attract people. Or there is a soul who left the yagya and they knew some knowledge about yagya. And when they left their body, they enter body of someone else. Baba will not come. He is purest of pure. He performed his role completely and taught us for 48 years in avyakt form. He gave so many murlis. How much knowledge we imbibed? What would Baba say new now? We do get letters. Baba has come here and there. Whoever has gone through that path, they are destroyed. There are no rules and discipline uh, over there. They just wander if they don't belong to anywhere. And then they don't belong to anywhere, not here, not over there. This is the scenario where the Maya is showing her face. Madhuban is Baba's home. Baba is taking care of this, his children in avyakt form. Since the flow is going on, I would like to ask you this one more question. Sakar Baba's Sakar role, Avyakt Baba's Avyakt role. After Gulzar Dadi left, did Baba mention in any Murli? Since you have recited Murli so well, do you know what happens after this? I don't want to know because I remember very well that we were told that this is none of your business. We don't need to know which dadi is where and what happened after they left the body. But the new souls have so much curiosity that now what will be Gulzar dadi's role? Did Baba say anything? Until Baba says anything, if any soul is saying anything about this topic, this is their own story. I never go into details. Baba has not said anything about any dad, any dadi. Let me tell you, Bari Dadi, Prakashmani Dadi, asked Sakar Baba in front of me that I don't want to take a, a rebirth. Baba said, okay, Bachi. But when Gulzar Dadi used to bring messages, she is the only trustworthy messenger for me. I have typed only her messages, no one else's, because everyone has their own individual catching power. So when Bari Dadi left her body, then Gulzar Dadi shared this message that Baba convinced her for a new role. Baba prepared her. She was not ready, but Baba convinced her. So Baba said, Bachi, you have to play this role. Then Dadi could not say no. So when this message about Dadi was brought by Gulzar Dadi, there is, there is no clear message from any messenger like that for Gulzar Dadi after she passed away. Once there was a rumor and someone did a class on this topic as well. It was by a messenger. I ask her directly, do you understand? No, and she replied, no, that uh, Baba did not tell anything to her. Thank you very much. This was very much required and it was very important that this come out from your mouth because the souls need to understand that this is not the truth. There are some souls who just rumor around their own story. 
I'm so thankful to you from the bottom of my heart that you opened eyes of many souls. Wherever this video, YouTube uh, uh, ch uh, channel, this video will play, many souls will get the clear message. You uh, made it very simple for sisters who are at center. They uh, it is very difficult for them to answer such questions. And, and you clarified that you uh, made it very clear with the uh, messenger that she did not get any such message from Baba. So thank you very much. It feels like you have situated all of us at Madhuban. Everyone enjoyed so much being with you in this class. Thank you very much. Shining.